afternoon. I am Nobule and this is Dimapur today. We have a very special guest. He is the captain of Nagaland senior team. Uh, none other than Mr. Jonathan Rongson. Hello, sir. <laughs> well, um, he was employed with railways and played league cricket in Bangalore. He was also selected for Ranji Trophy in 2013. Mm, to begin with our conversation, how have you been doing, sir? Well, I'm doing good. Uh, uh, it's been uh, three, four months uh, proper rest mm -hmm. and working out a bit as well. So you're just waiting for uh, the, the tournament to start again. Yeah, I'm sure you're having a good time. Yes, of course. Uh, it's time with the family and uh, after so long, it's, it's, it's good. It's good feeling. So, um, how is this quarantine for you? Is it making a is it a better time for you or no look I can't say it's better time for me because uh, it's yeah it's tough for everyone yeah. but then uh, we have to fight this uh, this this together uh, you know and uh, yeah eventually uh, the the brighter days will come for us and yes. we have to wait for that and keep praying for for the better future for all of us so uh, this interaction is just a casual one as you know um, we would just i would also want to know like uh, besides you being on the uh, field how many hours do you practice every day well uh, <coughs> it is depends uh, depends on the the schedule that we have oh. sometime we do practice uh, in the morning mm -hmm. and evening but uh, usually it goes about uh, two to three hours in a day yeah oh. so for example, morning we do we do our fitness, and evening we do our uh, cricketing activities. So yeah, eventually th three hours all together. Three hours. Yes. <laughs> that's so good. I'm sure you have a lot of stamina. Of course, uh, that's what we require in our sports. So <laughs> we uh, try our best to maintain our fitness and uh, to to perform the best for our state. Mm. So um, like, are you practicing these days? These days, uh, since our the only stadium that we have mm. is uh, been quarantined, uh, so uh, right now I'm only concentrating my fitness, mm -hmm. keeping myself fit. And when the you know the stadium is open for us to play and practice, mm. then we'll join there. Yeah. Uh, so maybe you mean even in Nagaland? Yes. Before the lockdown. Yes, yes. So you have your friends here as well? Yes, we have friends here. We have all the players. Uh, Nagaland players so we we will once the stadium is open for us we will go and practice together and yeah try to become better players as individual yes. so um, how do you feel being away from uh, your team I'm sure you miss them of course uh, it is it's, it's like a family for us yes, yes. because as, as a team if we have to win matches we it starts from individual uh, partnership with each, each other and you know so yes we're, we're like a family but uh, right now we we do keep in touch mm -hmm. and about how we have to do our fitness and everything we have trainers that guiding us mm -hmm. in this time what to work in the morning or in the evening all that so yeah we're following the certain protocol besides that um, have you been coaching anyone yeah i try to help the youngsters whoever is interested whoever asks me what how do you have to improve in the game and everything i keep helping them and yeah if there's anyone that wants my guidance i'm always there for them in the state or of the state anywhere yeah all yeah. over india yeah uh, so where do you mostly stay i stay in omt now okay. and uh, right now i'm uh, staying at my uh, wife's house because uh, because of the situation everything is difficult for everyone so we thought it's better to spend uh, time with the families and all that so yeah we're spending good quality time here <laughs> that's good um like um uh, in your team like according to you who is the best bowler since you are the batsman right bowler yeah, yeah huh. well uh, they are all, all of them are really good mm. but in this season one extraordinary performance was uh, from uh, our only uh, left arm spinner Imli Wati, okay. left door, yeah, he's actually improved a lot, yes. and uh, I think so. We have to watch him out. He's, he's going to be a next uh, uh, big thing for us. Yeah. We'll look onto that. Yes, <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> uh, 
um, then like, I'm sure you have a lot of memories of what had happened back then and you know so many things right so if you have one if you have like any funny m- memories that on the field it happened that it keeps reminding you and then it's there within you well uh I can't uh, remember the certain that kind of funny thing because uh, whatever we play is like very intense oh. inside the ground. But uh, uh, for now, I don't recall. Yeah, I don't recall that funny funny moment. It's not that funny if I tell you. <laughs> okay. So um, I've seen some videos and such that uh, you know that uh, some people come and ask you some questions and and all right when you want when yeah. you're on the field. So. How do you feel? Like, do you get distracted when they ask you questions and you have to play like that? No, it's, it is uh, part of our journey. Mm. We, uh, it is the the profession that we play. We have to. It, it's certain goals switching, sw- uh, switch on and switch off. Yes, yes. So when it's time to switch on or concentration, we we are there. And when it's time to switch off, mm. then we 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 able to control that kind of uh, emotion uh, individually and. Uh, Yes, uh, I feel uh, it is uh, actually it is pretty important also to you know when to know when to switch on and switch off. Mm. Yeah. So I don't have any distractions. <laughs> Fair enough, again. <laughs> so linking with that uh, funny memory thing, uh, do you have any uh, incident or any event particularly that is significant for you? Well. Uh, there's, uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, incident also, mm. but then, the, well, last year, yeah, like when our f- when we played our first Nagalin, uh, mm. played as a Ranji Trophy as a team, Nagalin team, uh, that kind of uh, moment that we share together and share our experience together was, was, you know, because in a team. We have everyone from all tribes. Oh, so, so then uh, it is it is something uh, I feel uh, magnificent to be playing as a cricket and to be, uh, to be part of the team because not only uh, not only individual but you know all tribes together playing. So that's something uh, I consider you know as a kind of a you know mm. uh, the top in my list. Yeah. Mm. Sir, um, a very very qu- casual question again. I see a very beautiful tattoo there. <laughs> and does it have any uh, meaning or stuff? Yeah, if I start telling this meaning, uh, <laughs> it'll, it'll, it'll take days. <laughs> okay, just <laughs> in short. No, actually, it's just uh, uh, a tribal uh, sign. A tribal sign. Just uh, remind me every time that where I belong from, mm-hmm. wherever I go. So, yeah, this is a symbol of tribal. Okay. A sort of identity. Yes, yes. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you. Thank it you. suits you a lot. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Um, so coming with uh, the cricket, who is your favorite cricket player? Well, uh, no doubt uh, it was Sachin Tendulkar, mm. but currently I would say Virat Kohli. Yeah. Why do you like him? Well, uh, it's the the way he is committed to his mm. to his work, mm. his ethic to his work, and uh, uh, you know how he has improved himself in the years. Mm. That is, uh, that is what we try to uh, follow, yes. you know, his uh, work ethic and uh, yes, uh, we, you know, we learn a lot from him actually watching him play also because mm. he, he's no, no doubt he's a talented batsman but yes. his work, his work to be the best in the world. So yeah, it is, we look to, uh, up to him and uh, we learn from him a lot. Yeah. yeah. So he's my favorite right now. Yeah, I also, uh, I think I also like Virat. Yes, yes. That's one b- one reason is because I think I feel that he balances his life really well, yes, both yes. his personal, yes, personal yes. with his wife yes, and yes, his yes, yes, professional yes. life. Yes. He is, had yeah, made a he, great choice. In <laughs> that kind of uh, uh, level that he plays, yes. it's actually very difficult to maintain both sides. Yes, you know, yes. Both his private life and his uh, professional life. So the way he's handling uh, all that is uh, actually magnificent, yeah. I'm sure you're also maintaining balance with your. Ah, for family. me, though, I don't have to maintain any <laughs> as such as Virat Kohli, you know, his other <laughs> level. <laughs> I'm just me, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just a humble naga guy. <laughs> um, so, uh, since Virat is your favorite, uh, there must be some specific tricks or something while playing cricket, right? So, did you 
find any tricks well he was playing well uh, the tricks i will consider is uh, him being uh, very fit okay. him being uh, able to take two runs instead of one run oh. that's where you know we are our batsmen uh, uh, more consistent than other players here okay and then how does he inspire you he well uh, maybe everything yeah everything that that he does uh, his batting style mm -hmm. uh, his commitment to the game mm -hmm. and uh, even even his fitness mm -hmm. so if i say if i look at him the whole complete of him is uh, that in inspires me a lot yeah okay so linking with cricket again if you were to give a uh, you know basic tricks or tips for a starter like me what would would that be well first uh, know know the rules of cricket <laughs> first <laughs> yeah. that is the uh, that is a must uh -huh. then the, to start off uh, you just can't go in uh, start uh, playing cricket yes, yes. you need to start from the beginning so mm -hmm. how to start from the beginning is uh, trying to play the slowest uh, the ball coming towards you okay, okay and how to you know how the bat face should be facing how you should catch the bat you know just so, so many techniques to it so uh, the simple thing is try uh, ask someone to throw the ball as slow as they can okay. and you try to you know be the perfect technique try to properly try to play the ball mm -hmm. but that has to be done like at least 100 150 in a day only yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then only your mind and muscles will be uh, in a reacting in the together yeah yes, yes. so it's called uh, uh -huh. hand and eye coordination okay yeah. So um because I've never hold a bat yeah, yeah. so is there any tricks while holding yeah, a bat Yeah like also? the tricks is uh, now if you want to pick up a axe mm -hmm. so keep it in the ground and just pick it up mm -hmm. and that that is a grip yeah. a lot of people don't know that but if you want to pick up the axe to uh, chop the wood mm -hmm. that's that's a grip yeah So that's we all. have to grip it tight Yeah not so tight also but the the hand the, the way you catch it uh -huh. the way your palms are mm. that's how it is yeah <laughs> so the tight the bottom hand should be a bit loose mm -hmm. and the top hand should be a bit tight mm -hmm. it should be that tight if it's too tight then you cannot maneuver the bat mm -hmm. so it has to be little loose so that it can move all over yeah <laughs> i think i have to go through once yeah cricket is a um, I think it's a it, it's a game that we need a lot of stamina and energy. Yes, it is. All. It is because uh, so cricket we play for four days continuously okay. or five days continuously, and it is not like playing football. You play ninety minutes. You have to stand in the ground for three four days continuously, and it's not easy. Yes, yes. And this uh, uh, Indian weather is very hot. You know, thirty five degree and all mm -hmm. that. So it takes a lot of you, mm -hmm. and uh, that's why you need to be very fit. Mm -hmm. You need to be like drinking water all the time. Mm -hmm. and uh, yeah your lower body has to be very strong yes yes so for the there is any specific diet yes uh, any sportsman there is if anyone is playing a professional sportsman the uh, one should maintain their diet uh, should follow certain uh, you know mm. uh, certain uh, protocol that what they eating what they drinking what time they eating what time they sleeping so all comes uh, all becomes very important yeah. so um, Who is your favorite cricket team in the world? In the world, India, yeah. <laughs> of course, <laughs> of course, India team, yeah. Being in India, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Very committed. Yes, very very committed. <laughs> That's really good. Um, mm, supposedly, if you were given a chance to play for a uh, Indian Premier League, which team would you like to join or be? Well, uh, at the moment, any team, <laughs> wherever I get chance. But then my favorite team will be RCB. Okay. Yeah, I I feel the team has a lot of potential. Mm -hmm. It is just a matter of luck and a combination of the team. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure uh, coming years they will do well. Yes. So, what do you think that um, a team should compri be comprised of? Uh, it's combination of uh, the foreign players, the Indian players, and the most important need the local players. Okay. So when the local players are good, then the balance of the team becomes a very very strong mm -hmm. and if you see in the ipl team that are that are winning all the tournaments mm -hmm. you see the local players are very good mm -hmm. that's why they're winning all the tournaments so i yes that's the that's actually that's a very important uh, 
uh, you know uh, cap the local uh, players that you feel up you feel in the team mm. yeah then sir what inspired you to be a cricketer well uh, no not inspired as such but when i was in school uh, i used to play a lot of uh, road cricket that's all kali cricket okay okay <laughs> that's where i got an interest uh, playing cricket and yes i was uh, living in bangalore and you know in that kind of uh, those places cricket is like religion for them okay okay wherever you go there is like only cricket mm -hmm. so that's how even i got interest and started playing cricket then we would like to know what got you and cricket together like attachment is there any like come again like like what got you and cricket together i'm sure that uh, there is a bond between you and cricket of that's course, why it has of course of course like you're here today uh The thing is, when I was 16 years old, mm -hmm. I got picked for the NCA, the National Cricket Academy, oh, okay. and uh, that is where I realized that uh, well, uh, if I'm here, then I must be good yes, yes. in that age, and I I should actually consider this as my career, mm -hmm. and that's how uh, I started, you know, uh, giving my more time in cricket and more pra uh, you know more time practicing. You know that being little professional towards the, uh, towards the game, and yes, maybe that's the reason I'm here today. <laughs> Then, how and when did you start playing cricket? I started when I was 14 years old. Okay. When I was 14 years old, yeah, and uh, uh, I was in a school called uh, Saint John School mm -hmm. in Bangalore, and where uh, you know the school selections were going on. Oh, sure, sure. And Just to bunk the classes, me and my friend we just go and participate in the selection, uh, you know, uh, cricket selection, and that's how we went. And uh, I got selected, my friend didn't got selected, <laughs> selected, and yeah, that's how it started my uh, schooling. <laughs> so that's everywhere. how you got attached. Yeah, that's slowly, slowly. <laughs> that, that's so many years. <laughs> Then um, I'm sure that you see children playing, right? How do you feel when you see them playing? Well. Uh, First of all, if I see children playing in Nagaland, mm. I feel very happy because the cricket is something that still has to come up yes, in yes, Nagaland. Yes. And I I always encourage people to play cricket because nowadays, if you are good enough to play mm. in the in, in Ranji Trophy level, yes, yes. then uh, it is almost better. You get uh, uh, you know a good life, mm. almost better than people are working or whatever. If you're good enough to play cricket, if you if you have talent, if you're working hard. Then you can set your life in while playing cricket. So I encourage them to, you know, whoever is good, uh, I call them out, mm -hmm. come and play, uh, come to the selection, mm -hmm. show your talent. And if you're good enough, then we'll pick you. Then do you play with them? I I don't play with them, of course. I uh, I only play uh, uh, in the stadium and all that. I don't play in the roadside right now, but. Uh, If I get chance, if someone calls me, yes, I'm going to play. <laughs> uh, so, like, it's a question that a common question from the public. Like, uh, did you have any hardships as a cricketer in Nagaland? In Nagaland, uh, hardship it will be uh, right now. No, I don't think so. There's any hardship. It's just that uh, uh, we. Is we are still as an improving uh, state in w when it comes to cricket. Yes, yes. So it's all understood. Uh, we are all trying to uh, trying to improve cricket in Nagaland, mm -hmm. and we are in a really very early stage. But we all uh, trying our best, and uh, in the future, hopefully, yeah, uh, we'll we'll be able to uh, you know produce players and uh, give facilities to the players like other state, you know, other like uh, other big state. States, yeah. Then, do you think that the Nagaland government should, you know, release or launch any schemes based on cricket or any sports like that? Yeah, of course. Uh, acknowledgement has to be. Uh, I feel acknowledgement has. It's pretty important. Mm -hmm, yes, yes. Uh, uh, Nagaland cricket. Uh, Nagaland government should uh, acknowledge uh, the players. The, you know, the cricket players who is doing well for the state. And if it is actually, I feel it's very important because. It 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 gives a lot of motivation to the youngsters as well, and they'll they'll also want to play cricket. You know, want to do well in cricket, uh, play well for Nagaland if they acknowledge. 
Yes, and so far it's not happened but uh, I, I hope in the future to do that. So like uh, how Nagaland cricket team is looking for the future? Do you have any idea and then what are the hopes and achievements for it? Look, uh, Nagaland Cricket Association is doing a lot actually. Okay. Uh, they have uh, give a lot of facilities to the all the district in Nagaland now. Mm -hmm. Just uh, last year, end of last year, they have uh, made all the practice facilities mm -hmm. all over the district. So I, I know that is the first move, mm -hmm. and a lot of uh, planning that is going on right now. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, in the coming years they'll do a lot of things for the Nagaland, and which is a very good thing. So then, um, do you plan or you have any vision after your uh, maybe break or so? If you have anything for Nagaland like that? Yes, my after my plan is after I uh, finish playing, after I retire from the cricket, I, I want to, you know, bring out uh, kid talents, bring out good talents from Nagaland, and one day I want them to play for India. Mm. So my aim is, uh, you know, to to find talents, give them coaching. And one day, you know, hopefully, uh, they play for 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 our country. Yeah. <laughs> so then, uh, are you like? Is there any is there any like um, vision or stuff like that that you're gonna play for in the Premier League and so? From um, myself. Yes. 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 Uh, I am still trying uh, there. I'm in a, I, I'm almost very close there. Mm -hmm. I just need uh, uh, guidance from God and uh, guidance from uh, you know some lot of people as well yes. support from Nagaland as well Nagaland you know Nagaland Credit Association Nagaland government and if they are willing to if if they push me then yeah of course I'll be there I'll be playing well um, it's like it's uh, it's a very um, sort of like formal question like what like what motivated you to play cricket and then you know what would you like to uh, tell the youngsters you know like that because most of us I'm sure like uh, most of our Nagas were not into sports mm -hmm. and so and then our parents we don't con uh, yeah. encourage yeah. us encourage, to do it like yes. that so is there anything that you would want to tell to our parents or you know like that yeah first of all uh, you should know whether you have talent or no yes yes if you don't have talent if you play cricket then the, uh, no matter how much you work you are not you are not going to climb to the highest level. Okay. Now, the important things in this is find your talent. If you are, if you if you are good, if you have talent in cricket, then you work hard. Mm. Then you work hard. Then you become very good player. Mm. So now, for a important is if you are playing in the school level Nagaland, and if you are doing well, a parents should notice that okay, my kid is good. He is actually good enough. He has been performing well for the school. So why don't you? Why don't I make my kids play for the state? Make them try to play for the state, and uh, that's 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 the thinking they should have. Because anyone can become the greatest in anything, right? Into this world, it is not like uh, uh, ten years or fifteen years back where you know, oh, yeah, my son should become a uh, doctor or engineer. It's, the world is not like that now. Yes, yes, yes. So it's anywhere. Anyone can make anything anything good in life. By doing like you know, almost about anything right to this world. So find out whether the kids, uh, the talent for the kid, not only in the sports but any any yes, any yes. part of the uh, you know, uh, 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 category. And uh, if the kid is good, the parents should support the kid and give full support. I'm sure the kid will do something wonderful in the future. Yeah. Yes. Mm, thank you for your answering our questions and for your time like, no problem <laughs> like um, we want I just want to ask if that uh, have you heard of Dimapur today yes of course I've heard I've how heard. do you how do you think of our team well uh, I feel it's very fresh <laughs> very new to the devil yes. and uh, I wish all the best for the uh, you know for a team and uh, I'm sure in about some few months uh, this will be a uh, skating uh, rocking sky yeah <laughs> Thank you. You have been an inspiration to all of us. And I'm sure by watching this video, most of us will be more encouraged and motivated in different fields also. Since you yes. have not only based, you have not only saying, you have not said things based on cricket as well, with yes. life yes. and, yes. you know, yes. everything, motivation and stuff. It's yes. very nice, sir. And we are very glad to have you also. Thank you so but, much. Um, and to close up with this, I just want you to say once again, like, a few or...
few, with a few lines or some the few words, if you have a message to give to the youths of tomorrow, of like you know, mm -hmm. from your side, a message mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. us. Well, uh, only one thing that I give to the uh, our youth is keep believing in whatever you do. Don't lose hope, and if you work towards it. One day you'll reach reach to the point where you know when you look back and say yes I've done it, and uh, don't give up and uh, yeah keep working hard. That's it. Thank you, sir. No thank you so much for your time once again. Thank you. Thank you. Good and to be here. Thank you everyone for watching our video. I'm sure that this talk will have an um, impact in each of our lives, maybe in some area or the other, and we will also be learning a lot of stuff. Since um, I myself I have also learned from sir also about dedication determination and i'm sure that we will also be learning from it thank you and then we hope that we will we all we nagas we will support one another not forgetting our uh, sir jonathan Rongsen. if he goes to play again i'm sure he will go to play i mean, yes. I mean and then we will surely support him and then yeah uh, let's be a good team together thank you thank you